Yeah. Um, so introductory PL course for non-SCS major students. Um, yeah. This is the course overview, and the goal is that each student builds her own game. And well, my 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 university is a female women's university, so all the students are female. And the, so the well, so each student wants to build her own game. But the, of course, the real goal of the <coughs> class is to experience some kind of lo logical thinking. And the, we have around forty students, but the. Uh, we have 10 non-science majors and also 20 non-CS majors. And the target of this class is that actually the first 10 non-science uh, major students. So they are totally unrelated to science or math or that kind of things. And the important thing is no prior programming experience. And moreover, this might be the final case that this is the last time for them to um, program in their lives. So I want them to have some experience of logical thinking in my course. And the lecture is 90 minutes per week and 15 weeks. And I usually divide the one course in something like that. So I give some lectures and then they do their lab uh, in the computer. And I, I give another 20 minutes talk and they do programming. And uh, Another important point is that students program only in the class. So I, I give, give no ho homeworks. And this is because once we, they get to their house and do their own homework, and they type in something, and then they hit return, and uh, some error occurs, and they will get stuck there. So they will not be able to do anything with, by themselves. So I, I do all the things in my class, and I, I um, use a lot of te teaching assistants, and, and that's quite critical. And course material I'm using is the how to design worlds. I would say that, well, this is a draft textbook available online. And it's very, very early and sh short draft. And I, but to, <laughs> but I would say that this one, this one is really nice. This, this book is really nice it, because it is short and so you can read it very fast. And it is, it is to the point. So it, it, it says only the point. So that, that's very nice. And well, it is about fun thing, so it, it att attracts students. Um, and the, the PL barrier is the least minimum. And this is the, one of the most important things, and I will elaborate on this somewhat further. And it, it uses so-called word parsing style. And word parsing style, I think most of you are familiar with this, but it word represents the state of the game. And that students will... Um, um, program using these kind of functions, uh, API, and the student essentially says that what is the current state of the game um, by first um, specifying the initial world using Big Bang, and then you specify how to transform that internal data to the game screen using the redraw function. And then we, she will use the own redraw function to register that, that function. And then uh, everything else goes fine. And when the tick event occurs, then the she will define how to transform the current world data to the world that are uh, one tick after. And uh, OK, so and these things are. So these functions are higher order functions. But um, beginning students are totally fine with using that things. I just say that you define this function, and you just register this function using those kind of uh, APIs. And if you see the course plan, um, you, s you will find that I um, use m more than half to just explain these functions. And well, and I, I also cover a little bit about define struct because I, if we want to make a um, complex world, then that is inevitable. And you can also see uh, some particular word here, but actually I don't, um, I don't explain this in a very good, good detail. And I want to discuss about that a little bit later. OK, and the go course goes pretty much well. And most of the students actually make 
um, interesting games, and this is some of them. And this one is, well, the goal is just from here to go to the, the house without hitting this mushroom. So, so I, I, you, using the key, I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, it's, it, it's not very easy. <laughs> yeah, this kind of game. <laughs> and um, the imp when I do this course, what I thought is important is that, well, first, Dr. Rocket environment is very nice. It, it's totally impossible to use Emacs to program. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for, for the beginning students. For the CS major students, okay, do it, and that's okay. And um, stepper, beginning language, those kind of things are very useful. But my most important thing is that pasting the image in a program, that is very crucial. And if you see this program, you say, define house, boom. And that's, that, this is, at first sight, this is sensational, right? And that TAs who are, my TAs will first, uh, <laughs> is the first reaction. O okay, you can write this kind of things in this language. But once you, understand, you accept this, this thing, this is very natural. And this, this um, actually, that, that is a very natural thing. You, you will understand that, that that's very natural thing. And the other thing is that while teach pack requires functions that are, well, that are almost trivial. So whenever you, <laughs> writing, writing a function that transforms one state to another is usually very simple. And yet it, it is uh, necessary for the game and that this will um, make students to concentrate on the real game content. So how the game state changes and that is actually the most important thing in, in creating games. So I would say that they bridge gap between students and logical thinking. So there are a lot of barriers between those two things but though these three things and many TAs, oh, uh, this is for when the students hit the uh, error messages and then and she will raise their hand and, and TAs com comes by and then she will that TA will explain what's happening on there and how you can uh, handle those kind of things. Okay, and on the other hand, I got several obstacles. And f the first one is no type support. And by this no type support, I don't mean that I want some, some typed language or something like that, but rather specifically about the world data structure in, the, in this um, programming style, what you, you want to extend the world so that you can make a sophisticated games. And inevitably, students extend the definition of the world, but forget to change part of them. Okay, so there is something, okay, oh, that, that's a very good news. Yeah, I, I, I will I need to hear about that. And the second thing is that teaching recursion is very hard. And I totally understand that the recursion is beautiful and it is based on the, how, on the recursive structure of the definition of the data structure and how to design, I, I, I'm the strong proponent of the how to design programs thing. So I'm pretty much fine with that. But still, st um, student may, um, find it hard to understand the recursion. And my, uh, what I think is that um, it might be a good idea to learn recursion after learning the map function. Well, so, yeah. And so I, I want to do that, but there is one obstacle that is a place image is tied to the structure of the uh, list structure, and that is a fault. So I cannot save map there. So if there is a one special form for this oh, one, that, that, gave you that sorry. How about a for loop that lets you do 
I, I don't want to introduce any for loops or like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, my, the, my first idea is that um, extend this place image to accept a list of, func list of um, things, and then you just do place those things in order. And OK, error message are in English. And <laughs> it is good, to, good that the menus are <laughs> in my language, but the error messages are not. OK, students do not read error messages anyway, but it, it might help some <laughs> um, <laughs> someone who read the error messages. OK, is a word not enough? <laughs> So in my case, universe is not necessarily necessary. So peop people are already very happy with it. And the, I think that the logical thinking is possible with a world. So we, with, with world, students really concentrate on the game logic and um, acquire that. And that is, the, I think, the most important thing. And for me, it is difficult to introduce another concept of um, process interaction kind of things within the current course plan. So I think it is, uh, the award is quite nice um, framework. And in, in the past four years, actually I got one CS major student who attended, who wanted a universe framework. And she was um, pretty much a nice student. And she wa is one of the students who took the uh, Shuriam's course that is opened last year. And so, <laughs> you, the course was wonderful, by the way. Uh, so in summary, um, Dr. Rocket Plus World or Universe Teach Park is an ideal platform for non-experts. And good environment and good abstraction. Well, good abstraction, I mean that the, I think the key is the World Teach Park. So the World Teach Park. Um, removes all the PL related things and leads you to the game programming directly. So, and that is a really great thing. And students can, can concentrate on the problem domain and experience some kind of logical thinking. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Uh -huh. The reason I added the universe, the world is not enough, is because students should be exposed to the idea of communicating okay. computers, not just computers. Mm -hmm. keep, keep thinking about it. Okay. But we will take your patches for Japanese messages. <laughs> we just type them up and put them in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Right.